Hi, this is Linda McKenna from Golden Rule Senior Placement Services coming to you today with Tuesday Talks. As promised, we're going to be talking about helping our senior loved ones cope with holiday loneliness. Um, as we have mentioned in the last couple of weeks, even through the Thanksgiving season, that this is a time of reflection and this is a time that most of our seniors are used to us gathering. Yes, we went through the whole pandemic um, and it's coming to a close, we hope soon, um, but there was a lot of celebrations that were missed by our senior loved ones. So here's some um, good ideas to approach um, this situation um, and how they're feeling lonely and, and doing it in a very uh, compassionate way, okay? So reading off of my notes, the holidays are a time for family and friends to be together to celebrate and enjoy each other's company. For many seniors, the holiday season is a time of reflection and can be full of mixed emotions as they reminisce about the celebrations they were part of and those loved ones that are no longer with us. Even if a senior lives independently in their own home or amongst others in an assisted living facility, they may be conflicted with feelings of loneliness especially during the holiday season. To assist your senior loved ones in remaining strong and engaged and to avoid isolation and loneliness all year long, consider using the CHAIR plan. CHAIR mean holiday cheer, C-H-E-E-R, and it will be the acronym for each beginning word. So for the C, Check on your loved ones frequently. Not by just by phone, but visit your loved one in their home. If they live independently and alone in their home, view if they have an inventory of nutritious food on hand, medications are being taken and are up to date, and their ADLs, which is activities of daily living, which is eating, bathing, dressing, grooming, toileting, and mobility, and also if there is any safety issues by checking on hazards and barriers that can create a fall. If your senior loved one truly needs assistance, you are more likely to take note by the time well spent at their home. H, help your senior loved one stay engaged as those that live independently and alone in their own home tend to experience depression. Invite them to your own family's function and festivities at churches, civic associations, and senior citizen centers, which ultimately assist them being engaged in activities and conversations with other people. It is a time to listen to them and their acceptance and denials of wanting to attend function and where to assist them with transportation if needed, and if you can properly provide. If your senior loved one lives in an assisted living facility, join in on their holiday activities and without forgetting. Bring their grandchildren and great-grandchildren on the visit as well. If you're giving gifts to your senior loved one, nothing is sweeter than a handwritten note and a photo album filled with memories captioned from the past to those of most recent and pages left blank to be filled for the future. This is where they can enjoy it all year long. E, empower them to continue to live independently where you assist your senior loved one to live, function and prosper safely on their own. There are many devices and services that can be set up for your senior loved one such as medical alarms, mobility devices, and food delivery services that will assist them remaining independent, stay healthy and safely. And it is at this time you might have a discussion with regards for the future when moving to an assisted living is a viable option, which I'm here to help you. E, enjoy your precious time together encourage group activities and functions that all of you can participate in whether it be small or large remember it the present that you are making new memories for the future 
present being quoted. So a present and being present means the same. R, reminisce with your loved ones. Break out old photos, albums, family videos, and other family memorabilia and keepsakes that bring the past to the present. Listen to your senior loved ones reminisce about those loved ones that were lost and engage them to speak of those memories with you. We do this with my parents on a regular basis. I'm very fortunate to live by my parents uh, and so does my children and now to granddaughter um, that we could uh, visit them in their assisted living. There is always, always great conversations about the past. Um, some people refrain to talk about the past because they're afraid it might bring, bring up bad uh, scenarios or they're gonna make them even more depressed. Absolutely not. They come flowing. Those memories come flowing all the time. If you heard it before, you'll hear it again. Like my grandmother used to tell me. I used to say, Nana, when I was little, you told me that story, so you hear it again. And you know what? She's right. It is embedded in my mind my heart and my soul forever but my grandmother it was great memories so create that with your own and you know what the loneliness for both of you would not be evident because guess what you'll be together enjoy it and make it a blessed season for both of you okay your senior loved one and you and your family Thank you for viewing in today for Tuesday Talks. As always, I lead you to go to my website, which is www.goldenrulesseniorplacement.com. And there you'll find a whole host of information, resources, testimony on these video talks. It's always a pleasure to be with you on Tuesdays and always, I'm always available to assist you whatever needs you might have for you and your senior loved one. Have a blessed week, and I can't wait to talk to you next week, which will be holiday week, which will be Christmas. Thank you, everybody. Have a blessed one. Bye-bye now.